from Portugal and we're going to present you our project Lifesavers. We created this project with the purpose of saving lives after earthquakes because we saw that a lot of people died stuck into the ruins. So we need a more efficient and fast way to save people. The process of construction of the, of the robot was all done in accordance with the necessities of the security forces that we had communicated with. And they told us it was fundamental the price of our project would be lower than the others than the other projects that already existed in the market. They, they are so expensive that some organizations can't even afford a large quantity of them. So to build our own, we used recycled materials, like to build a, this aluminum chassis, we used old parts of an old window from our school, we used 3D printing for the boxes and the wheels, and vulgar plastic for the tracks. And now I'm going to talk a little bit about the programming and the coding part of this project. So, we control the robot on an app called Arduino Bluetooth Controller, and we program the robots on an app called Picash Editor using the basic programming language. And basically, uh, what we coded is that whenever uh, my colleague presses a button on the phone that controls the robot, it will send a number to the robot, which will receive that number and interpret it into a, an instruction that we gave it. Like for example, if she pressed the button to go right, then it would receive the number 82 and interpret that, dire that direction, uh, that is the instruction to that direction that we gave it. And so we, th we then had to explain how the instruction works. So we had to explain that to go right, it had to make um, one wheel go backwards and the other wheel go forward. So that way it could turn right. We also added a feature so that whenever the robot wants to go forward, but the camera is facing sideways, then it will have to adjust the camera to be looking forward. So that way we can see if there is a wall in front of the robot. We also, uh, our robot consists in two robots, the bigger one and the smaller one, as I show it late, as I show it. Uh, we created the smaller robot because the bigger one could not pass through some spaces and the smaller one can access difficult access spaces. Um, our robot is also, has also a walkie-talkie so we could communicate with the victims. The rescue team talked by a walkie-talkie and then the robot will emit this, what the rescue team is wanting to say. Um, we also have legs on the side and the front of the robot. Uh, because with this, we could facilitate the visibility of the robot and in not putting the, the in danger the robot by getting hit by any rock or something like this. Um, we also have a thermal sense of heating that beeps when there's someone in the front. So if the robot passes any person on the ruins, then that would signal that somebody in there and the rescue team should explore more this area. Uh, the project con is, co is commanded remotely, as my colleague said, via Bluetooth. And the, commu the communication made between them is made by Bluetooth. Uh, and the, the phone has a Bluetooth emitter and each robot has a receptor so it will perform the action that is programmed to do. Uh, we also have a camera on the robot for the professional that are operating the robot could see the environment and the connection made between the robot and the, the screen is also made through Bluetooth. They send the microwave signal and it is captured by the antenna and that will make it to the video and sound that we can see and hear in the monitor. With that, we can save lives and help make the world better.